We continue now with the instructions of the Curie of ours to his people, the Catechism on the Blessed Virgin. The Father takes pleasure in looking upon the heart of the Most Holy Virgin Mary as the masterpiece of his hands, for we always like our own work, especially when it's well done. The Son takes pleasure in it as the heart of his mother, the source from which he drew the blood that has ransomed us, the Holy Ghost as his temple. The prophets published the glory of Mary before her birth. They compared her to the Son. Indeed, the apparition of the Holy Virgin may well be compared to a beautiful gleam of sun on a foggy day. Before her coming, the anger of God was hanging over our heads like a sword ready to strike us. As soon as the Holy Virgin appeared upon the earth, his anger was appeased. She did not know that she was to be the mother of God, and when she was a little child she used to say, When shall I then see that beautiful creature who is to be the mother of God? The Holy Virgin has brought us forth twice, in the Incarnation and at the foot of the cross. She is then doubly our mother. The Holy Virgin is often compared to a mother, but she is much better still than the best of mothers. For the best of mothers sometimes punishes her child when it displeases her, and even beats it. She thinks she's doing right. But the Holy Virgin does not so. She is so good that she treats us with love, and never punishes us. The heart of this good mother is all love and mercy. She desires only to see us happy. We have only to turn to her to be heard. The son has his justice. The mother has nothing but her love. God has loved us so much as to die for us. But in the heart of our Lord there is justice, which is an attribute of God. In that of the most holy virgin there is nothing but mercy. Her son, being ready to punish a sinner, Mary interposes, checks the sword, implores pardon for the poor criminal. Mother, our Lord says to her, I can refuse you nothing. If hell could repent, you would obtain its pardon. The Most Holy Virgin places herself between her son and us. The greater sinners we are, the more tenderness and compassion does she feel for us. The child that has cost its mother most tears is the dearest to her heart. Does not a mother always run to the help of the weakest and the most exposed to danger? Is not a physician in the hospital most attentive to those who are most seriously ill? The heart of Mary is so tender towards us that those of all the mothers in the world put together are like a piece of ice in comparison to hers. See how good the Holy Virgin is. Her great servant, St. Bernard, used often to say to her, I salute thee, Mary. One day this good mother answered him, I salute thee, my son Bernard. The Ave Maria is a prayer that is never wearisome. The devotion to the Holy Virgin is delicious, sweet, nourishing. When we talk on earthly subjects or politics, we grow weary. But when we talk of the Holy Virgin, it is always new. All the saints have a great devotion to Our Lady. No grace comes from heaven without passing through her hands. We cannot go into a house without speaking to the porter. Well, the Holy Virgin is the portress of heaven. When we have to offer anything to a great personage, we get it presented by the person he likes best, in order that the homage may be agreeable to him. So our prayers have quite a different sort of merit when they are presented by the Blessed Virgin, because she is the only creature who has never offended God. The Blessed Virgin alone has fulfilled the first commandment, to adore God only and to love Him perfectly. She fulfilled it completely. All that the Son asks of the Father is granted Him. All that the Mother asks of the Son is in like manner granted to her. When we have handled something fragrant, our hands perfume whatever they touch. Let our prayers pass through the hands of the Holy Virgin. She will perfume them. I think that at the end of the world the Blessed Virgin will be very tranquil, but while the world lasts we drag her in all directions. The Holy Virgin is like a mother who has a great many children. She is continually occupied in going from one to the other.